from LA Late Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Afternoons LA Late. It's a big afternoon of Afternoons LA Late. As Bitcoin breaks through that resistance levels, as you were told by me just a few days ago, next resistance level on the horizon. We had talked about over the weekend that Bit was hovering under 21,300. Well, here we go. We broke through it. This is the latest element of getting big money in 2023. We're going to go over the big sums of money that you're going to get from 2023 from listening to this channel as Bit has broken through the first resistance level of 21,000. The next one is 24,000. The one after that is 30,000. We'll go over the latest details of what happened with the markets today. A Tesla and Apple gaining a news out of China. Wow, this is exciting. Wells giving big props to Microsoft saying that it will give a big reset for the markets. Why is that? And then the bull market has begun, says BMO. Do I agree? Well, here's Levi's with a deep downgrade overnight. And Bitcoin, Bitcoin with a breakout, told you. And the new LA Late underway, you're watching it right now. Is a bull market underway? It absolutely has begun. Yeah, we have talked about over the last year about a recession starting February 2023. May still be with us as all the major banks. I was the first American broadcast to record this. But is the recession going to negatively impact your ability to make money? No. And in this show, we're now going to go over how to make big money right away, really quickly. We're going to go the latest guidance on Bitcoin, crypto to stay. We're going to go the latest details on what happened to the markets. You see the Dow up nicely, 254 right minutes ago. It just closed. The Nasdaq have a nice pop up, uh, 2% right today. And we're going to go over how to make big money every week. 2023. It's a brand new show. It's a brand new era for LLA. I'm excited you're here. We're going to go over the latest details of what happened with the market. They just closed minutes ago. Look at that time. It's 3.05 p.m. Pacific Saturday time, so the market has been closed for over about an hour. But we're going to go over the latest details of what you need to know in advance of tonight's brand new debut of a new era of Evening Valley coming up tonight in prime time at 5 o'clock. From the shores of San Marcos, California, it's the brand new Afternoons LA. Everything you need to know and how to get that money in your wallet Heats up today's broadcast. It's a big day, and we got a lot of money to go over, and it all starts right now. Good afternoon, everybody. Look at these breakout prices to Central Land and Bitcoin and crypto and stocks. Well, the latest details of why everything is going up, except Levi's. <laughs> Your jeans are falling. And I'm not referring to Bob. Your jeans are falling. <laughs> Levi's was downgraded overnight. Yeah, saggy jeans, I guess, are back in fashion. <laughs> Bitcoin is breaking out, so that'll maybe offset the, the saggy jeans or the downgrade of Levi Strauss overnight. And the new Alleylate underway in this broadcast. Tesla, Apple gaining on China news. That was all positive. Tomorrow, Microsoft could potentially give a big reset to this market. What did Wells Fargo say minutes ago? And I'll give you my analysis as well. And a bull market has begun. Do you think I'm going to miss a bull market? Do you think I'm going to sit back and talk about pure nonsense and miss a bull market? That would be bull. <laughs> of course I'm not. And a bull market is underway. Congratulations. A brand new era for LA. I think I'm a little too close to the, the camera. A brand new era for LA. The bull market is underway. Yeah, we have a recession. Yeah, yeah, we do have uh, labor getting worse. Yeah, we do have inflation still not solved. And yes, we have J-Pow and company meeting just a few days from now and having their latest interest rate spike. But a 444 is likely what we're happy with. What is a 444? 4% inflation, 4% unemployment, and 4% rates. I'm going to go over all those details in today's market recap. The markets have just closed. This is Afternoon's L8, America's most watched show at the midday, right after the markets close in America. The breaking news right today is that Tesla and Apple are gaining on China, and then Microsoft will potentially give a big reset to the market, and the market has potentially started a bull run. Let's go in the breaking details right now. So shares of Tesla and Apple are both up today. 
on the great news of a reopening in China underway. There is now reports that they could really gain dramatic attraction based upon the China reopening. Bulls are running with the near-term momentum. That's the upside. And the soft landing narrative, and it's hard to argue with the recent price action, says Jonathan Krinsky at BTIG. He says that the price move on stocks is so good that you can't argue with it. I agree. On the other hand, long-term trends are somewhat bearish, and we're always skeptical of a widely watched breakout, especially after a big run. So he's talking about, of course, the recession. We all know that in a recession, we go down 50%, but is this a real well-defined recession, or is it not? Very fascinating across the board. But Microsoft will potentially give a reset to expectations tomorrow. Why tomorrow? Because why? Uh, because we're going to be uh, playing some video games? <laughs> no, because tomorrow, Microsoft reports their corporate earnings. And Wells Fargo's analysts that track Wells Fargo says that these fiscal second quarter, I should say, earnings due out Tuesday, will give a potentially needed reset of the markets and their expectations. While we agree that FQ2, that's second quarter last year, will come with challenges, we think that the print should also help put the worst behind us, providing potential reset to expectations and further evidence towards st stabilization and possible upside for the rest of this year. But because Microsoft is very diversified, this could potentially give longer runs across the board. Bull run? Wait a second. When did we get into a bull run? <laughs> We're supposed to have a market cliff, a financial cliff, a financial um, you know, catastrophe in February, a recession, uh, a, a, a hard fall. Well, it appears to not be happening at the moment. 60% of all U.S. companies that have reported corporate earnings on this channel in the last weeks have now beat expectations so far this season. That's not two pennies in a fountain. That's 60% of U.S. companies. 57 of the companies in the S&P 500, so that's not, you know, 400, it's 57, have reported their fourth quarter so far, and of them, 63% have exceeded expectations of major B. Big news, great news, more money in your wallet. Why is that more money in your wallet? If corporations are beating on corporate earnings, then we're not going to have a hard recession. But it's not, you know, it's not 400 or 500 companies. It's so far 63% of 57 companies. So let's be very frank with that. It's good. It needs, we need to have more of this. This gives us more indication of how strong this economy is holding up or whether it is not at all. This is where we're going across the board in today's recording. BMO Capital Markets says that this is the early stage of the next ball market. <gasps> yes, this is very exciting. Yes, this is why there's a brand new L light. Do you think I would be on the sideline talking about not, you know, talking about uh, bad times are here to stay when a bull market is underway? No, I'm here to make you money. I'm here to make you money, lots of money in February 2023. And this is what we were talking about just a few nights ago on Channel 3. Crypto Live, our brand new hit show that's coming into this channel as well, started with this. When I said, look at that graphic, Bitcoin at the time was 21,242. And I said, its resistance level is 21,300. If it broke through that resistance level, big news for crypto, big news for you, big news for this economy. And what did it do? Well, I said the next resistance level would be 24,300, 24,800, I should say. And the one after that would be 30,000. So where did it go since when I said we need to break through that 21,300? I think it was Dottie. I think it was Dottie. Did you see her? She was brilliant. She was in the live chat. She said, LA, it broke through that resistance level just like you said it would. Well, she's right. Dottie was pouncing like a purple hawk overnight. Look how well she was watching this. Great job, Dottie. Bitcoin broke through that resistance level. And look at that breakthrough, 22,900. So what's the next resistance level? 24,800. Big news would put big money in your wallet because that's not only just money for crypto, it's money for this entire economy. If Bitcoin breaks through, the other coins will break through, and also stocks, huge news across the board. So let's jump into that graphic right now. That is the one week. Here's the one day. It's up. Let's look at, oh boy, my goodness. Do you think I would miss recording that? No. Who has made you more money 
who has made giving you more accurate projections on stocks, bonds, crypto, the Federal Reserve, interest rates, the inflation, the recession, than me. No one else in financial broadcasting anywhere. I got in a ride for nearly two years, and why would I miss this run? Folks, you're going to make a lot of money. You're going to make a lot of money by watching this channel, and have you become a member? Well, make sure you do, because guess what's going in that membership newsletter? All of this and more. That membership newsletter will also feature, in addition to everything it's already featuring, it will also feature the latest details that you need to know to make money on crypto, stocks, and bonds. We're going to look at the latest details on those resistance levels in that in that newsletter. We'll go over those resistance levels, where they are, have we broken through them, are we staying above the resistance level, or are we under the resistance level? These are critical things you need to know, and Dottie was doing such a great job. She just listened to learn but you should do even better now because it's going to be in the membership newsletter. Have you become a member? Go right under this video. Become a member. Purple Honk, Purple Bauer, Casino VIP. Make fortunes from this channel. Make fortunes from this channel because I've made fortunes by my advice for myself. Whether it's stocks or bonds, real estate, recordings, I've learned how to make money. And I'm showing that incredible advice to you as well. And it all starts tonight with a brand new era of LI Light. That membership newsletter also has all the incredible information you need to know about stimulus checks. But I don't have to record that every single hour on the hour. No, you already know all those checks, A to C, E to K, L to Q. I don't have to record that every single 10 seconds. I need to record this because if there's a breakthrough for Bitcoin, you don't want to miss it. Let's look at how much of a run that has been because, I mean, this is shocking. We had thought that maybe 2023 was going to be a down year. Mm. No, <laughs> for, for coins, no. 2024 is going to be the big year for coins. So let's look at that run. Moreover, how about Decentraland? That was a coin that I talked about extensively back in 2020. Let's look at that incredible Decentraland run right now. There it is, 72. That is the one-day chart. Now let's go into the one-week chart. Decentraland is a great coin because it's based upon the real estate in the metaverse. So when you buy the coin, it entitles you to buy some real estate. And if the coin gets more valuable, goes up in price, then it's cheaper for you to buy real estate because you bought the coin cheaper. So let's say you bought the coin at, let's say, 32 cents. And then you want to go buy some real estate. Well, now tonight, the coin is double that value. So the real estate is cheaper for you to buy. Wow. How easy is that? That's, that, is high, that is great score. It is so wonderfully easy to follow. So let's look at the beautiful Decentraland. Here's my mouse. I'm in the chart. And this is the one-day chart. Uh, excuse me, the one-week chart. Here's the one-day chart. It's also up. One week. Now let's go to one month. Wowza. I love that. <laughs> Do you love that? That's deliciousness. This is the one-month chart. 33 cents, which is dirt cheap. And then all the way up to 60. Did it give a little bit of a drip dip? It did. Down to about a 50. And there it goes. Uh, 62. And then it popped up to 74. And again, this is the one-month chart. My Decentraland Nights, like, Anne, look at that. This is a one year. It had been 72, went all the way up to 67, went all the way down to a 30, and is right now today at 864. Do not worry about buying on dips, because if you try to look for buying on the dips, you're going to be chasing things too quickly across the board. Microsoft reports corporate earnings tomorrow, and Wells Fargo says this would be a major reset for this market. Why? Wells Fargo says, while we agree the FQ2 print will come with some challenges, we think the print should also put us behind with the worst news behind us. <gasps> the worst news behind us? We mean we're done with all that, you know, calamity news? <laughs> Financial cliff and all that horrible, scary stuff? Yes. Potentially provide a reset to expectations and further evidence towards stabilization and possible upside for the rest of this year, says Michael Turin in a note to clients moments ago. Huge. Despite a general sense of uncertainty in the market, potentially among vendors and consumption-based models, partners think Microsoft has a well-diversified portfolio of offerings that should be able to the company to continue to share in the categories such as security, data, and AI. AI, of course, is artificial intelligence, and I think that needs a whole show unto itself overall. So, is a bull market underway? A bull market is the subject of this broadcast. <laughs> Has a bull market begun? Yes. 
my analysis tonight is that the U.S. bull market is underway for a series of reasons. Number one, corporate earnings are beating. Corporate earnings are beating for final quarter last year, and expectations and projections for the state corporations for this year are all up. So corporations are delivering the earnings, and all that doom and gloom that we we're worried about, store closures, you know, uh, bankruptcy filings, did not happen. We had layoffs. But you got to trim some fat sometime. Trimming fat does not mean it's bad news. It means you're just on top of your on top of your game. So corporations' numbers are really good so far. That suggestion of a bull run. Number two, consumer confidence or investor confidence is back in this market. You saw that Bitcoin chart. Big run, isn't it? You saw the Decentraland chart. Big run, isn't it? And you have the latest news out of the macroeconomics, like China. With that horrible lockdown because of COVID, that second lockdown that was late last year, lifted, and that's really helping a lot of companies like Apple and Tesla. And that is also great news for this economy. Additionally, a 444, indication that we could have a 4% inflation, 4% unemployment, and 4% interest rates with this economy, and that we could survive with that very well. Do I agree? Absolutely. I was the first American broadcast to record. The U.S. economy likely dropped to a 4% inflation, not to 2% as Jay Powell said he wanted to get, and that he's just going to stop at 4. I mean, 4 is doable. What's wrong with 4? Fabulous 4? Uh, it's a good number. There's nothing wrong with 4. It's not like, you know, 13. <laughs> so that is what we're heading with that as well. Then with the corporate earnings are just great. Now, is that bull market being confirmed by other people as well? And can you have a bull market even a recession? Absolutely. I believe the bull market has begun. So that is why L8 is changing its focus, and that's why this channel is trying to get you lined up to start making money right tonight. So you already see the focus on crypto. We also have the focus on stocks coming one second. UBS says Apple is still a great buy. Do I agree? I like Apple. Here is what they are saying, and this is what the street is saying. Wall Street says that Apple has an estimated revenue of $120 billion, earnings per share of $1.93. iPhone demand will likely come in soft because that's China problem, but they're predicting it to soften uh, to improve thereafter. We believe the peak impact on the disruptions was felt in, mid to early, uh, in early to mid-November, the disruption because of China. Absolutely, I agree. However, Apple has not has disclosed negative impact of the restrictions on the assembly fa factory in Zhuangzhou, China, and that could potentially hurt bottom line for an undetermined period of time. UBS's price target, Apple, write it down, write it down. Do you have that pen watching this broadcast tonight? Apple has a 180 price target, which will be 30% up since last close last Friday. 30% improvement? Whoa. So UBS says if you bought Apple at its price of the close on Friday, they think it's going to go up to 180. That would be a 30% return on your profit. Here's what Goldman is saying about auto and industrials for these early weeks of this year. The impact on declining vehicle prices, how much input and logistics are at issue. China, again, higher interest rates. But um, they are also looking at Lear, Connectivity, and Epinol. Interesting. How about your pants? Are they on? Keep it to yourself. <laughs> are your pants falling? Well, just keep it to yourself, please. This is a family show. <laughs> Did do the saggy jeans or you do the tidy jeans? Just, you know, fess up. Fess up. Do you like it saggy like it's like three years ago? <laughs> Or you like it super tight like it's the 1960s, 70s. Well, uh, Levi's is slumping on a downgrade. <laughs> so there you go. I guess the saggy jeans once again. J.P. Morgan downgraded Levi's Strauss today from neutral to neutral from overweight. Price target dropped from a 19 to a 17. Get me excited? No. I really have never liked stocks that are in the teens. I'll be very frank. I don't like any stock that's in the teens. And if it went from 19 to 17 or 17 to 19 or 20 to 20, I just don't like them. I just never have liked them. I like stocks that are expensive. I like stocks that are, you know, 120 could go to 190 or 120 could go to 240. Let's be very frank. And this is what's important to start on day one of the whole new LLA. Just because it's cheaper, it doesn't mean you make more money on it. Let's be very frank. This is that stupid, stupid, 
stupid nonsense of 2022 of Shiba Nu. Remember Shiba Nu? Do you remember all those crazy crypto coins that were 0. 0.00000? The zeros are still going out the street. <laughs> They're going out the street down the, block, down the block. Oh, I'll make so much money because I'll buy 20 million coins of 0. 0.0000. No, you're not because it can go down as much as it can go up. So that's why I've always liked bigger price E or stock, so long as the valuations are there, of course. Because just because it's cheaper doesn't mean you're going to make more money. You can lose your money faster as well. And J.B. Morgan it has now cut Levi's from 19 to a 17 on price target. You can run the math. That's not particularly good. They see compressing forecast earnings and output are much of the issues across the board. I'm loving this new show. Are you loving it? I'm looking at the running time. We're at 20 minutes. Wow. I mean, it's almost time for a commercial break. I'm loving this new running time. So, <laughs> you know why I'm laughing? Because here's today's broadcast. Here's today's research. I love doing this. I, I know you love it, too. I love doing all this incredible research for you, bringing it on camera, and then try to figure out how to get through it by before the show is over. And this is a 20 page approximate note broadcast huge huge some of it may pick up again on evenings because this was taped a little bit later in the day than normal but coming up of course tonight on evenings is wayfair apple spotify and zillium but look at what they're saying about bitcoin bitcoin rose 2.5 percent above the 23 100 uh threshold on monday that's what they were saying <laughs> They're not quoting me, or are they? Let's go back at that resistance level, which I had recorded for you, what was it, about a half a week ago? And I talked about those resistance levels. Dottie saw it. She saw the breakthrough, and she said, my goodness, LA, it's breaking through. Let's look at those resistance levels. Are they putting them at where I put them? So this is where I had it. <laughs> I did not even remember what my own resistance level was. And this is what they said. Bitcoin rose Monday above the 23,100 resistance level after it touched 23,000 on Saturday. So this is fascinating. They jumped it all the way up to a 23,100 resistance level. That's not how I do it. I like lots of uh, smaller resistance levels, so I know something's on a run. I don't want to. I don't want to come to the party late and know that all the guacamole dip has been eaten. <laughs> Not at all. So the next resistance level is twenty four thousand eight hundred. So why is it so critically important? This is why you want to become a member. All this is now going into the membership newsletter. For example. You would have had in the membership newsletter had you read it uh, two days ago and had I put it in there, <laughs> which I did not, uh, but it's going to the brand new membership newsletter, which has all the existing stuff plus all this brand new stuff as well. I would have said, write down, set up your alerts for 21,300 resistance level for Bitcoin because if it breaks through that, then we're on a run. I don't want to know the run has started before it's too late. It's sort of like the running of the bulls. You don't want to see that there's bulls coming down your street. And they're like, oh my God, take cover. <laughs> no, no, no. I want to know ahead of time. 24,800 is my next resistance level after 21,300. So we broke through the first one. We are now heading to the second one. Well, what do the markets say? It broke through the 23,100. Well, good news for you. But we already knew that because we set a lower resistance level for ourselves. The next one is 24,800. Of course, these are the highest levels since nearly August. And what's the resistance level after that? Well, you'll just have to watch the second half of the tonight's show. <laughs> well, you'll just have to watch the second half of this afternoon's show. And again, this is the brand new Afternoons Ally. Everything you need to know about the markets and where the markets are going and how to make big money in 2023. How are you? I hope you're having a beautiful day. It's gorgeous here along the coast here in Santa Monica, California. Inflation, recession, all with us. This show also go on location in new recordings. Go looking at brand new million dollar homes. Understand how did people afford these homes? What makes them so beautiful and so very well investable? What's going on with certain investments in 2023? And what are the best investments to get big returns on your money? You don't, have to have a, you don't have to have 20 pounds of dollar bills in the fountain. You can have two pennies in the fountain to make money on these items. That's what we're covering on the brand new Afternoons LA, plus all the details on your stimulus. Yeah, stimulus checks A to C, E to K, L to Q, all passed for 2023, all law. How do you learn about those big stimulus checks? 
in the membership newsletter. But what's also important is to learn about how to make money. And that's why we're here on Afternoon to LA. Let's look at the other details we're working on right now. So stocks making big money in the midday are Wayfair. Wayfair jumped 24.1% on Monday after got multiple upgrades, more negation of a bull run. Apple up 3.2% after China's reopening gave uh, impetus for Morgan Stanley to call it a top pick. Spotify gaining 3.1% after a massive memo to staff saying, uh, you're gone. <laughs> Sorry. 6% laid off. 600 employees laid off across the board. Uh, also making news this afternoon is uh, information technology was the best performing sector today, gaining 2.7%. And Caterpillar is a major pick for Jefferies for 2023, says a brand new report released minutes ago. Wow, just really fascinating. Now, here are some of the other th things that you need to know to determine a bull run. Price targets being cut or price targets being increased. So Zoom is getting a price cut target by 25% says uh, MKP in partners in a downgrade today. Once the pandemic, darling, the company's not doing particularly well. And are you having your Costco pizza right now? Well, hold it carefully, because Cowan has cut the estimates on Costco. Oh, have they cut the price on the pizza as well? <laughs> so which kind of pizza, Costco pizza, do you like? Jump on the live chat. Do you like the everything pizza? Or do you like the nothing pizza? <laughs> no, I mean the everything pizza or the pepperoni. Uh, based on gas prices and gross margin sensitivity, negative gas industries, um, EPS, earnings per share, could be affected across the board. So they think that the falling gas prices is what's going to hurt gas, is going to hurt ga uh, Costco. It's not the pizza. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the pizza. Pizza's not the ingredient for those major runs. On tonight's evening's LA, we're going to go more about what we're seeing after the close of the markets. We have more corporations recording corporate earnings and the latest details on why this is a bull run. We'll go more into the details of what we're seeing and also we'll be looking at the latest downgrades and the latest upgrades. Of course, we'll be watching this on Channel 3. Could Bitcoin break through the second, that would be 24,800, and the third resistance level? Join us nightly on Channel 3 for Crypto Live. It's a brand new show. Don't forget to Decentraland, a great coin across the board. And that is also on a beautiful, nice run. That is a longer out chart, but let's jump into a shorter chart. Here we go. Look at that. Just deliciousness. And let's look at this one as well. Just wonderful. For the shores of Santa Monica, California, a bull run market has begun. And let's make that very clear. Bull market, not bull run in a recession, not just bull run for a few days. A bull market has begun. That's my prediction. And that's why this is the brand new LLX.